Huh, some kind of ducks out here today. Pheasants or ducks or something. I don't know if you can see them there. It is um, Tuesday, April 18th. I am back at Camp Freedom 1. Now I don't know where those ducks went. Weird, they came here and then they disappeared. They were just here just a second ago. There's like these pheasants or ducks or whatever they were running out here. Anyhow, we're back at Camp Freedom 1. I am actually on my way back to Camp Freedom 2. Specifically, I'm heading back to work on the yurt to try to finish it up or at least get it further along. Um, you see a little blue out there. I decided to stop by here because I'm going to try to start hauling tires over there. So I guess you can say we're in uh, cleaning mode again. I'm gonna try to take some of these tires to Camp Freedom 2, or the yurt, so they can be used as resources instead of uh, just sitting here as garbage. Some of these are gonna be too big and heavy for me to move and use. We'll see what we can do. I'm not quite sure which one I'll take, but um, we'll see what happens here. I managed to wheel this tire here. I got myself all dirty here. Rolling this tire down from uh, Camp Freedom 1. And now as I get to a little blue here, I'm finding that this thing is heavy as heck. I'm having a hard time lifting it up. <laughs> uh, this tire is like super heavy or I'm just super weak. We'll see if we can't get it up there. This is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it would be. You can hear, I don't know if you can hear me huffing and puffing here, but uh, just even rolling the tire was kind of hard for me. Um, I got two of them up here, and I think that's all I'm going to take for now. I'll try to take two each day that I'm out here so we can clear all the tires from back there and get them to our camp, Camp Freedom 2 and the yurt, where they become a resource instead of just trash being dumped out here. Whew. We actually made it back to Camp Freedom 2. Let me see the tires there. I had to try to unload them and set them over here for now. Start up a stack. We'll be collecting more as um, we head over through there and pick up more tires. Whew. Catch my breath here. I managed to get the uh, the tires off the roof of uh, Little Blue 2 and got them over here by the hut. If nothing else, um, they do make a great stepping stool so I can get some height and do some work maybe on the roof of the, um, the hut as well as the yurt. Um, the issue will be getting them out there into that area because they are actually kind of heavy. But they're, um, because they have the metal rims on them, they're a lot more stable than the, um, the current two tires that I have back there. Because those have no rims, and they're kind of wobbly. So, I know I can at least get these back there if I need to, to increase my height, so I can work on the roofing. Well, the plan today is actually to come up and um, reinforce a little bit more. And as you can see, I've actually got some um, tarp. I, I went ahead and bought Dollar Tree tarps. I took the um, plastic wraps, the plastic um, drop cloth that we had bought the other day, and I got rid of them. I took them back to uh, Dollar Tree because I had the um, receipt and traded them for three of these. Three of these tarps, but I also bought seven more tarps the other day. So we have, um, we have seven of these tarps that we're going to use to cover. I had looked at getting paint and stuff to try to camouflage the area back there, but I don't have the funds for it, so we're just going to put the tarp on it and leave it blue. By the way, I don't know if you noticed, the um, little blue 2 is currently configured for passengers. This is how um, the seating goes back up, and you can see the vehicle can carry another two to three more passengers back here. Two for sure, but it can carry like um, a total of three or four passengers, depending. 
So um, that's why I left the, the bench seat in here. So when I get my children, I can carry them around. The bed is actually just flipped on back. And that's why this was left in here. Um, if I didn't have my kids, I would have taken the seat out and done a custom build up here and made the van even nicer. But because I had to have seats for hauling, that's why we did what we did. Anyhow, we're going to go ahead and head back there and hopefully we can actually get some work done today.